In this video, we're going to look real quick at how we can import user presets and grooves into BFD3. Now for this video, I'll be using some presets and grooves that I created and you can download these for free. The download link is in the description, but the process will be the same for any presets and grooves that you download for BFD3. Okay, so after you download a package of grooves or presets, more than likely they'll be zipped. So unzip the folder, which we already have done here. And in the package that I have made, we have presets, we have the single grooves, which you don't need to even bother with these because we have the palettes and the palettes actually contain all the single grooves into their own palette. So first we'll import the presets. Now there are several ways to import presets into BFD3. We could simply grab a preset file and just drop it right here in this drum area, or we could come to say file and import presets or load presets from a file. And we can even do the same thing for grooves. Come back here to our grooves either single grooves or even palette files. I could just grab a palette and just drop it right here. That would load the whole palette for me, but I'm not going to do that. Also, we could come over to file again and load grooves from file. All right, so that's a couple options. Now, the way we're going to do it is, in my opinion, it's easier, and I'm not going to tell you how to import your user presets, but those are some ways. This is the way that I would personally do it. Now, I'm on Windows, so this might be a bit different from Mac, but come to your documents folder and then to your F expansion folder, come down to BFD three and then come down to your presets. And all we're simply going to do is come to our presets folder here and I'll just grab the presets that I downloaded, grab them and drop them right into my BFD three presets folder. Real easy. And we can do the same exact thing for the grooves. So come back to our BFD three folder come up here to grooves. I'll just grab our palettes. You could even make a folder if you want, if you want to call the folder oblivion X or whatever you want to call it but we'll just grab them and drop them right in there. And guess what? We're done. We've imported everything and we are ready to go. But I'll mention one more thing. So importing the grooves into your documents folder or the user area where if you created grooves or presets, this is where a BFD3 would save them in your documents, F expansion, and then BFD3 folder. You don't necessarily have to put your grooves or presets here. You could say, um, actually I'm on my, uh, libraries hard drive where I have all my BFD libraries installed. I could actually, um, since these are for oblivion, I could actually just throw those grooves in my uh, drum library, BFD oblivion grooves folder. I could just put them in here. That works too. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that you have to put your grooves in your user folder or in your documents BFD three folder. You could actually put them in your oblivion grooves folder or whatever grooves folder you choose, you know, and, and the work just fine that way. But for the sake of this video, I'll just say drop them in your documents, F expansion, BFD three grooves folder and your presets folder. And after you have that done again, wherever you put them, as long as the path is set up in your content location, tools, set up content locations, the palettes and grooves will show up just fine. So after you have dropped your presets in and dropped your grooves in, then you need to rescan your content path. Now you can just select just that content path. If you want, I usually just choose rescan all path. So now we'll just sit back and wait and our grooves and presets should show up once the scan is done. Okay, now the scan has completed, we can hit close. And right here we can instantly see, right there's the Benoni Oblivion X, the Benoni Oblivion X2 kits. Come over to our grooves. We can come over to the author filter and click on the Benoni Studios because that's the author name I put in those files. If somebody didn't put an author name on the files, it will show up as unknown. Makes it a little harder to find. So if you're creating grooves, definitely go ahead and put in an author name if you're planning on sharing them. Much easier to find that way. So we'll click on the Benoni Studios and right there is the four palettes that we imported. A total of 221 grooves, I believe. That's a real easy way to import presets and grooves into BFD3. Just drop them in the correct folders and rescan your content path. And boom, they'll just show right up. So there you go. Be sure to visit the fxpansion.com forms. There's a bunch of presets there that you can download for free. And of course you can download the presets and grooves that we showed here in this video for free. Links are in the description.